hope you guys are doing fine. As for me, I have been busy with shoots and a lot of other things on the side. So I'm so sorry I have been neglecting this channel for quite a bit now, but don't worry, I have a review for you guys today. Today, I will be reviewing this little guy the Xeon Molus 860 RGB 60 watt COB LED studio light. Full disclaimer, Xeon did send this light out to me and they did say I can keep it, but I am in no way told what to say in this video. So do feel rest assured that I'll be telling you guys exactly what I feel about this light. So don't worry about that. And also, as always, for you guys who have been subscribed to this channel, may not already know my reviews are not going to be scientific or really detailed with charts and stuff like that. My reviews are just mainly me experiencing a particular product and I will be sharing my particular findings using the product. So if that does tickle your fancy, then I guess this review is definitely for you. Okay, so let's first talk about the build quality of this light. Well, my first impression of this product is that it's really built well and it feels like they haven't gone cheap on using materials with this light it really feels sturdy and nice all the dials and the knobs feels really good so yeah I've got no complaints at all in terms of the build quality it really does feel sturdy now let's talk about the specs of this light this light weighs 319 grams so it's not particularly heavy nor is it particularly super light it's just in between the size of the light without battery is roughly the same dimension as a typical credit card so I love this fact about this light it's really nice and compact this light is rated to have a power output of about 60 watts the light has the ability to illuminate with a color temperature ranging from a cool 2700 kelvins all the way up to a warm 6500 kelvins with a cri of 95 so the colors are pretty accurate this light can be controlled also via an app which is the zy vega app the light comes with 15 lighting effects which include the typical police car fireworks disc go hue loop just to name a few the light too is able to be powered by three different power sources a dc power power bank and also via the battery this light does come with two batteries charging the battery grip takes around four hours and the battery lasts around 15 minutes or so at maximum power in the box the light comes also with a mini reflector and diffusion dome and also a mini collapsible softbox oh yeah and this light also comes with a three quarter tripod mount at the bottom of the light so it's really useful you can actually plant it on a tripod and you can place the light anywhere you want to on a stand okay now let's talk about the usability and experience of using this light. I have to say just off the bat that this light is really, really easy to use and it's super intuitive. I like the fact that this light comes with these dials and knobs and you just have to press in the dials whenever you need to execute a particular menu. So it's really useful. I do always think that using dials for toggling through menus is way easier than using buttons because I have used lights that actually came exclusively just with buttons and it's a lot more fiddly and it's a lot harder that I always have to end up using an app whereas with this light I didn't really have to reach out for the app I could just use it just like just as is without an app and I find that really useful because there's so many times when you really want to shoot things and you really want to shoot quickly and, and I don't really have the liberty or the time to actually go through an app so this light has got the ability to actually be a standalone sort of light and I think that is something that is so important and so useful to have because there's so many times that you don't really want to open an app you just want to use the light as is and this light definitely caters to those people who just want to use the light as how a light should be able to be used you know just turn it on and then just change all the settings on the fly you know straight away from the scrolls menus itself so I think I really do prefer that than having Having to open an app every single time. Kudos to Jiyun for actually doing this. I think it's such a good thing that they decided to use dials instead of buttons on this light. Also, the other thing I did enjoy about using the light is the fact that it does come with a reflector and a dome so lighting things was so easy because I could use the reflector whenever I wanted to throw the light a lot further than it can actually reach and also I could use a light dome whenever I wanted the light to be a little tad softer than what it actually is with the reflector so I do like that combination and the fact that it also comes with a softbox too is so useful to have I think it's so good that all these things are not extra accessible accessories that you have to actually buy so it makes this light way more functional than what it actually is in terms of power really did like the power that this light is able to output there were so many times in which i really felt that i didn't have to dial it more than 30 percent because the light is just that powerful so i did like the fact that this light 
is such a small, compact, but yet powerful light. And the best part is it even has RGB. So, so in terms of function and features, I really think it has pretty much everything I'm looking for in a compact light. So it does pretty much tick all the boxes that I am looking for in a compact size light like this. Okay, just for you guys to get an idea of just how powerful this light is, I did manage to shoot this sample and I actually shot at about a foot away with the softbox on the light. So yeah. And before I forget, if there are a few caveats that I would like to mention about that I don't really like about the light is probably the fact that it is just a tad powerful. So sometimes when I use 1%, it still does feel really, really bright. So yeah, it would be really great if you can fine tune it even more. And also another thing that I don't really like about the light is the app that comes with the light. It's somewhat not that intuitive at times. Right then, so what's my conclusion after using this Jiyun Molus 8X60 RGB light for a few weeks now? What do I think and who do I think should really get this light? Well, to me, I think anyone who is seriously considering a small and capable RGB light should really consider this light. It is so small that you can literally bring it around almost every single shoot. And the fact that it comes with this carrying case is also useful. So nowadays, what happens is that I bring this light everywhere I go, every time when I need to go for my wedding shoots or even my portrait shoots. And I use it as sort of like a filler kind of light. You know, I can use it just to light things in the back or I can actually, uh, you know, add a splash of light or a splash of color. So I really do like this light a lot. And for its price, I think that is really fairly priced. It's not too expensive, nor is it, you know, too, too cheap. And the, it's also very toughly made. Also for you guys that may be wondering, is the fan a little bit loud? Well, so far, I didn't really find that the fan's noise really bothered me at all. So yeah, it's really good. And all in all, I just think it's one of those lights that everybody should have in their bag. So yeah, it's a no brainer. So if you do have the budget, I would highly recommend this light. It's just a no brainer. It's a great light. Right, so that's it then. I hope you did find this short review helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'd like to thank Jiyun, Ziyun, Zayun. I'm so sorry I've been messing up the pronunciation, but I'd like to thank them for sending out this gear to me. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you do feel like making a small contribution to this channel, I did leave a link to buy me a coffee and also my PayPal link down below. And I also did leave all the links to all the gears that I use to make these videos down in the description below so do check them out right then i guess that's it for this video see you guys in the next video peace